Hello everybody and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. And today we need to get this done. I'm trying to get all this harvested. The helper see is currently lost. They are not done. Just started them in our new field, uh, field 22. So I don't know why they think they're done. Uh, there are many. Oh, um, we'll go fix them here just a little bit, but I might have to do it myself. I don't know. Uh, mainly to get this little bit of stuff harvested, and we need to look at changing our equipment again. So I love the haybine. Ray knows I kind of, I think it's a odd use, except for one problem. It fits on the trailer. But it is very awkward and it doesn't look right. So I'm going for uh, the more aesthetic option. So uh, we're going to change it up for a Pottinger. So, and it, uh, it's a lot smaller than the Haybine, but it fits Ford a little bit better. The Ford will be our tractor for. Oh, wow. So we something a little bit newer, bigger. Okay. I don't know how long we're going to keep the Ford. I really do like it, but it's, it's very, very small. So we'll probably have it until we get the Ford. Uh, it's good for karting and everything. Uh, any horsepower tractor. Or tiny. But I think everybody has seen me giggle about how good, how excited I was the last so we'll get no like what is it Did we get the last time almost 2000 I think is what it was uh, so or no was it over 2000 I can't remember how much we we'll get enough here to pay for our going in the past couple of days uh, that field there is ah. what to talk about today well, FarmCon is going on today. At the, uh, we don't know much other than this run. Uh, man. This. Giants. Um, he uh, put out a post on board that in this 19 you'll be able to buy a farm and then build onto it. So... That was like his most anticipated feature. I can say, you know, here I am starting from nothing. If I can buy a little farm, even if it's like two acres, you know, <laughs> and start from nothing, uh, I'll probably really enjoy. I can say that I. Uh, the sheep. Or, well, they're taken care of right now. Of them. Uh, one of the comments had suggested that the uh, the lake by uh, farm right there by field 37 is the closest place to get water. And I can believe that because I drove halfway across the map to go to Big Farm. So uh, that is what we will doing for our water. Getting that. Now, I wish somebody had made, like, an IBC that could go in the bed of a pickup. Quote, unquote, attach to the bed hitch. It'd, like, fill up that away. That would be pretty cool. If that mod exists. I probably need it. Because that would be... Um, well, I'm full. I wish you get, like, this. This around and stuff. But this is just going to pay for our gas, diesel. Using case was the. I don't really have a an agenda for what I want to get. Me, uh, everything that you all have stuff that I had. Put it earlier. Like, 
Of course I'm not. Unloading. Oh, there we go. Just the right spot. So yeah, I haven't uh, I haven't played uh, any. Wow. Well, back on the roll here. So I thought I'd start with this because. Start here and then move forward. Go with. Like I say, we're gonna. We might do a little bit more salvage work. That price ever. No, it didn't. That's just. And what is this? Somebody, please tell me what this is. Because it looks like something I would want to do. But I don't understand what it is. So. But if somebody could let me know, I would. I would appreciate it. Now, I haven't planted that field yet. We're actually going to go ahead and make this a uh, big field. Because we don't need the smaller stuff now. We're moving on. We're moving up. We've bought some land. We have to diversify as much. We can diversify across three fields. So we can I don't see any point in running the little bitty fields right now uh, be looking to buy some bigger things but I'm gonna hold back on doing the missions as much as I, can. I mean I'll do them for the next property that we buy it's probably gonna be field 20 very large grass field funny couple of days just grass work I'm really liking doing the grass work at Ace. I'm going to get this done, get it all emptied out, and then I will go sell it. And of course, the uh, sell point is across the map, so I'm going to drive up there and then we'll look at our totals there. Okay, so this is Lone uh, Lone Wolf. Um, this is the sell point in the south of the map, right down here at the bottom right hand corner by field 55. You can definitely tell, you know, it's set up for a little bit bigger equipment. So, I think it's... Uh, you know, I don't mind starting small, but I want to get up into some of the bigger stuff because, you know, the map is for it. But we will size every field, you know, to equipment. Yeah, we're going to have some bigger stuff, but we're also going to have some medium-sized stuff. Uh, we don't really need anything small. Um, I think the Ford's probably going to be one of our smaller tractors. But, of course, I do want to have, like, a play farm uh, somewhere on the map where, you know, I can still use some of the older equipment if I want to. Just do a couple... Uh, runs of something, you know, as mods come out or are released, we can go you know, check them out there. So, I hope to be rich. That way we can just buy and sell things as we please at one point. But that's, uh, gonna be a while. But I do think we need to start working towards Field 24, so that means finding out who the owner is and what farms that they own. And, uh... You know, start uh, doing all the fun stuff for them because you know it, it, it does take a while. Okay, I don't know why, but the worker won't take over. Uh, it just says that they've completed their task, so I don't know what uh, what the problem is. So I'm just gonna have to come back and figure that out. All right, so I got the hay bine here, the hay, hay bine, the hay bine, and let's see here, who owns this? Oh, we've actually done a lot of work for you. So it's only 68 grand. That's for f almost five hectares. So that's uh. It's a pretty good amount, but we can't afford it yet. Uh, I have more important things I want to get. I'm, I want to get a combine first and a cart. Those are two of the things that I think we need to really kind of focus on. A planner would be nice. The uh, the Massey Ferguson one, the that goes on the uh, on the tri point, that would be pretty good. But I think. Uh, you know, that, that needs to be uh, a secondary thought to an actual combine. The little one is fine. It's just, well, it's little. You know, it's uh, only like three meters. So even planting a field that size would take a while. Uh, although we're not going to plant that field. It's going to be a, a grass field, and then we're going to, you know, take care of it and everything. There's a vehicle there. Okay. I'll have to sell it by the menu then. That sucks.
Okay, now, I'm going to buy this mower, and if it's too big, you know, if it doesn't make sense, please tell me. Okay, it's a four disc. I know it looks like really, really tall compared to the tractor, but it is compact enough for our truck. So, it was either this or the little bit smaller one. If this is too big, and you know, it actually is too big for this tractor, it only requires 40 horse. And I'm going to take that as PTO horse, and I think the Ford has like 50 PTO horse or something. So, I, I think it's horsepower rating is okay. But if this is physically too big for this tractor, please let me know and I will swap it out for a little bit smaller one. I want to be accurate as I can. Uh, I know it says Eurocat on it, but there's not many other uh, punger mowers that kind of make, uh, like, fold up like this one does. So that is the main reason for wanting to get this one in particular, was uh, it folded up like this. It wasn't, like, uh, draped across the side, uh, and it can fit right up against the gooseneck of the uh, the trailer. So that would be pretty good for us. I'm going to drop this off, and we're actually going to go mow and uh, bale up a field today. But it's going to be uh, a little bit bigger one. Okay, so this is the setup leaving the yard. Um, <laughs> the, the baler, the tractor, and the mower are all in one to go, even though the Ford is... Uh, it's not liking it. I don't think it's uh, really made to pull the kind of weight that we're asking right now, but it is moving. So we just gonna have to watch out for traffic and make sure it's clear before we pull out. Uh, they did uh, send me flying the last time that we tried to use the Ford and the trailer, so hopefully we can get a clear little bit here. Yes, it is clear. If I just meander out onto the road and put on my hazards because we are going very very slowly hopefully we don't get rammed so where are we going well if you look down there by field 41 there's a giant grass field and we're gonna go to it now I had thought about mowing the one up the side of the map on the map border I uh, I could um, it, it is within the bounds of the map but I feel that's kind of cheaty, so we're not going to. But uh, for right now, we're going to uh, just uh, do what we can see. And uh, so that's going to be right outside of Field 41. I'm hoping to get a few bales out of it. It should be uh, pretty good to cut and shouldn't have any kind of problem out of it is what I'm hoping. Now, I just can't pass the turn in, like, right here. Need to make it before that car comes. There. Don't need our hazards now. Um, where are we going to unload? I'm, I think we'll unload up here on this uh, this gravel bypass. I think that's going to be the best bet. So if we just shut this off and unfold our ramp, we can stop running at 3 million miles an hour getting a Ford. Now we will leave the... Uh, We'll leave the baler here and just come back with the pickup to pick it up. But this was the best way I could think of to bring as much equipment and a way to haul bales, uh, you know, <laughs> all together in one go. So that is why we've got what we've got. Yep. This should all be pretty well, you know, good free land for us to use. And it's not a huge field, but it's a lot bigger than anything that we've bailed before, so. Uh, give this thing a go. Uh, maybe this tractor is too small for this. Huh. That are started on a hill. I don't know. Let's, uh. Let's give it today. If it's wrong, I'll just switch it out. It's not a huge deal, but I didn't think. You know, it said 40 horse, so I wasn't uh, thinking that it was too small, but it's actually acting way too small, so maybe an issue here. And again, my steering wheel's broke, so can't be uh, using that today either, which kind of sucks. Ooh. 
It'll be fine, though. This is a just a lot larger field than what I am uh, and what we've done here. This is like the largest plot of land that we've uh, actually done on this map. So it would be pretty interesting. It's not really a good hill. Hmm. This tractor is too small for this. That's kind of sucky. I knew it was too good to be true. I just wasn't sure. You know, it said 40 horse. I'm like, okay, well, it's, you know, half of what my tractor's horsepower is. Um, but I guess I'll know for the next time. So that's my, that is my fault, guys. I'm sorry about that. I think we'll get a few bales out of this. Should be a pretty good haul for us. I uh, don't know if I'm going to wrap them or not because the silage price is just its so low right now and I don't know uh, exactly why. So, you know, it could be something I might have to look into, but I think for, for us right now that, you know, we'll just uh, we'll wrap them as grass and sell them. Yeah, this is this is too small of a tractor. That is not something I was really expecting. At three miles an hour. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll know the next time. So this would probably be for like a hundred twenty horse tractor then. I was figuring, you know, just on its physical size that it was a little bit too big, but person can dream, right? Whoa, now we're going fast. I think what I'll do is I'll lift every time I go up the front. And then I think that'll uh, make things a little bit easier for us. Oh yeah, that worked a lot better. Now I don't need that many hay bales. So, I don't know. We need to stop here whenever uh, I get around. Because we're not going to be able to do all this in today's episode anyway. Um... I just wanted to get, you know, started because, you know, like I said, this is, this is not my, you know, my, we have to get everything done in one day kind of, uh, episode. I'm just kind of taking it at my own pace and everything and I don't get in a hurry. But I want to take and look and see at what is more valuable. Is it the grass bales or the hay bales? And... The reason I'm not going to fool with wrapping the silage, if the silage was like $500 a bale, then yes. But the amount of time put into wrapping each bale, last time it took me almost an hour uh, to wrap what few bales that we do have. So if hay is a pretty decent price and we can just, you know, poop out hay bales, then I don't see the reasoning in... Um, doing the silage bales as long as they're, you know, at a decent price. I mean, we're only like at $200. But we take a look here. Okay. It's 57 Oh, God, I say that, but it's five times as much. It's just not... I don't know what the deal with the price is. So we're only going to get like $200 a bale. I I don't know what to do here. Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, well, I'll just cut this field today. Uh, I'll get it all cut off. And then maybe somebody down in the comments, uh, I'll, I'll stop. You know, I won't record a second episode right after this. I'll uh, wait until tomorrow evening and uh, and make it. That way I can actually take a look at the the, uh, the comments. What do you think I should do? Should I wrap them or should I just sell them straight off? Um, there's a five times, you know, cost difference there. But it also takes up a lot of time. And, you know, I feel like we just done silage. So, while I would do silage and it wouldn't bother me that much, I'm still, you know, trying to look out for you guys a little bit there and, and make good content. 
and I know that we just done it. So if it's something that you want to see, that's fine. If you have a certain way you want me to do it, that's fine as well. So yeah, just let me know down below what you want me to do with this field. Um, because once I get it cut, I'm not gonna. I was gonna bail it today, but um, you know, if there's like a certain thing you want me to do with it, uh, just let me know, and I will try to uh, accommodate the uh, best that I can. But I think that's where we're gonna leave it at for today. Uh, I've been chatting to you for uh, almost 40 minutes now, so I think uh, I think that's a pretty good length video. We didn't get a too awful much done. We got uh, one of the fields done, and uh, I'll get the other one planted. I don't know what the deal is there. I'm gonna have to do it manually, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll do something. So I know it's a little bit you know slower video. We didn't get a whole lot done, but I think uh, I think we're making steady progress. So as long as uh, as long as we keep moving forward, then I'm fine. But uh, I don't want to stall out or anything like that. So I need to keep need to keep working. So just let me know what you wanted me to do with this field. If we should do it as silage again, if we should, uh, I mean, if we do a silage, then we can just you know hold on to it all. I can just offload it there in the sheet pen, and uh, you know we can uh, hold until it gets to like a really good price, or we could uh, take the uh, big Vermeer rake and turn it into hay. We can just do grass. Um, well, I uh, maybe I need to go and get a driver's license again. I don't know, but uh, yeah, let me know what you want me to do, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.